Yo, yo YouTube, my name is Otox, and on this channel I will be your host, so please bear with me as I try to provide you with some quality entertainment. Now today we are on episode 5 of our Build of Build series, and today we will be showcasing one of the quirkier builds on infantry sword units, or infantry units in general. And our featured unit for today is Soleil the Adorable Adorer. So plus 10 Soleil here, um, incredible stat spread. Um, one of the best sword units, in my opinion, infantry sword units, stat-wise. Um, if you don't have a PRF and you're looking for a budget, um, non-PRF infantry sword unit, I would definitely recommend Soleil, easily mergeable. Um, she recently dropped to the 3 and 4 star pool, so have at it, guys. Very, very good unit. So, um, today's build is one of the quirkier builds. You probably are familiar with this, but for those who are not, you know, not familiar or who are just getting into the game and would like to know a build for Soleil or any infantry sword unit, actually, um, I would recommend this build here, Slaying, uh, Pavis, Shield Pulse, Attack Speed Solo, and Flashing Blade. So this is a Slaying, sh uh, Shield Pulse, Pavis build. Um, you've probably seen it run on units like Raven, uh, Carla. A lot of units run this build really well. However, I do feel that Soleil still does this build um, insanely well due to her high attack stat and her good speed. Um, that's the main thing. So. Here's how this build works. Mainly, you just want to out-damage your opponent. We don't have a uh, damaging special. We rely on a uh, shield pulse to reduce damage from opponent's attacks adjacent foes. So that's only me melee units by 50%. On top of that, we get an additional minus 5 damage when we proc our Pavis. So that's cut in half and then minus 5. So a unit would have to do more than 10 damage in order to do um, d any damage to us at all. It's really a quirky, gimmicky build. It's more of a gimmick than anything, um, but it does set up the potential to survive certain scenarios that you otherwise wouldn't. So it's more of like, it's hella fun to watch. It's hella fun to use. So that's the only reason I actually plus 10 Soleil for, um, but aside from her being adorable, of course. 56 attack, uh, 45 speed, 32 defense, 28 res, and 46 HP. Not bad at all. Very good attack, very good speed. That's the main thing. Attack is very important with this build. Since we don't have a special, we do have to rely on pure damage, um, which correlates to our attack stat. So attack speed solo here, when we are um, not adjacent to any other unit, we get plus 6 attack and plus 6 speed. Very expensive skill. You could also replace it with life and death, but I do like um, retaining our defenses. And that's the whole reason I do prefer attack speed solo over life and death. Um, what we have here is 62 attack, uh, 451 speed, which is insane. Really good for doubles. Flashing blade here will give us our Pavis back. Um, attack Smoke, I only run Attack Smoke just to mitigate damage even further from other units, um, other enemies that are in the vicinity of the unit that we're attacking. Now, the main threats to this build would either be units that have guard skills, as well as units that just have insanely high defense that we can't even do anything. Again, we have to rely solely on our attack stat. We have no special to, you know, break through high defense unit so if we're um if we're hitting for five damage there's no way we can win um unless the other unit is hitting for zero it would be better for me to show you how it works so let's just hop right into the killing montage anyway sit back relax and enjoy the killing montage cuties and have a good day now till next time Bye bye
So light is here. Hmm? Of course, my target. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. You dare oppose me. 